You know, God made us to go forward. He never made us to go backwards. And sometimes the smallest step in the right direction is the largest step of our lives. Some of the, sometimes it's the most important steps that we can possibly make is sometimes tiny little stretching ourselves going, I don't know which way I should go. Maybe I should slow down and ask the man above. And when we listen and we obey, sometimes it feels like it's wrong. But later on down the road, you might see something. You'll see the progress out of it if it was from the Lord. Because he's designed us to go forward. He's not designed us to go backwards. The enemy wants us to slow down and hunker down. It's the enemy that stops us a lot of times. See, if, if we're chasing God. Remember a couple of weeks ago I talked about the gazelle? How fast he is and how much he can jump and hide. And... His main way of, 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 of defense is how fast he runs and how quick he can turn. He can turn at 60 mile an hour in a dead run. He can turn and escape. He's an escape artist. He has no kind of claws, no kind of talents to fight anything off, but he can run and he can jump and he can leap. See, if we're chasing God, it's hard for the enemy to catch us. Amen. The enemy wants us to think that we're defeated, we're slow, we're not sharp, we're not smart. Everybody else has got it going on but us. And he wants us to hucker down. And he wants us to stop trying, stop chasing, and deal with ourselves. Because he's got a plan. The enemy's here to kill, steal, and destroy us. And if we're chasing the Lord... He's not catching us. Amen. There's two animals on the crest of, uh, oh my goodness, let me see, got it wrote down here. In Australia, there's two animals on their crest, on their state crest. One of them is the emu and the other one is the kangaroo. And the reason why they picked that is because they are ones that want to move forward. That's what their motive is, is to move forward. They think that the emu is designed with three toes, and if he tries to move backwards, he stumbles and falls. So the emu usually will not move backwards. I don't know if you know that or not. The kangaroo's tail is so large, they don't really move backwards neither. You ever watched any type of circus tree and all this stuff? Kangaroos are out there. They people fight kangaroos. They have box kangaroos. Kangaroo. They put a pair of a boxing glove on a kangaroo. And he'll give you a run for his money. I've seen it. But there's a reason why this kangaroo. The kangaroo will fight once he's challenged. It's because he has a hard time backing up because of his tail. So he uses that to his advantage. He'll lean back on it and he'll knock your block off. You don't believe me, just research it. YouTube, some kangaroo fights. They're funny. So so what I'm getting at is it's the whole purpose of not retreat. We need to plow. We need to push forward and, and, and fight the good fight of faith. If, if you stop, you're going to be fighting a fight. But it's usually against yourself and against the inner man of yourself. That man in the mirror that we talk about so often. Let's move forward. Let's plow ground. Let's stick it out. Let's, let's move forward. Paul talks about in, in Philippians about pushing forward, not looking back on the things, right? Stretching that hand out to reach farther than what, where we're at and not looking back. Paul was, a, his history, if he looked back at his history, can you imagine he was a murderer. He would murder each and every one of us and laugh about it in his early day. He was not a nice man. But when he found the Lord, he never stopped. He chased forward. He drudged on. He was bit by vipers. He he's had it all done to him. We need to push forward, amen? Amen. 